Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we are deep within the bowels of the LZ Alpha, wondering what we can do to make our way more into the space age. But really we've got ourselves a whole host of problems and most of these problems revolve around the heating issue now this is not a big problem because we have various ways of dealing with them even if i'm not entirely certain that taking the gas down here passing it through here pouring out all the heat into the natural gas to then get eaten up by these is the best idea because i've got a feeling a lot of the heat is being passed on to the uh to the machines here and even though we are going around we are repairing uh, them i feel like we can do a lot better and the way that we can do a lot better is actually all the way over here onto the other exit of the base here if we follow the ladder all the way down and just kind of like fr uh, float my mouse around here you can see that we've got an anti-entropy thermo nullifying device right there you go Ooh, what does that do um that breaks the rules of entropy and gives us infinite cold so we're going to bring this ladder all the way down and we're going to try and uh, 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 excavate this out here. I think that's going to be a great idea. I also actually want to destroy this ladder. Oh, I can't. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. I really have liked to have got rid of that uh, so that I could put a nice solid base across the top, flood the whole thing with hydrogen, and then deal with a cold like that. I've also noticed that there are a lot of other areas of neutronium about. Now, these normally mean that there are geysers around. So uh, that's another thing that I'm going to do, go do. We're going to go around and we're going to try and do uh, that. One last thing, of course, is the fact that we need a whole a bunch of water. Now, no problem. We've got water coming out of here in the next half a cycle. But, of course, there is a bit of a problem here. It's ex uh, exploding out of here at 95 degrees C. So what I'm actually going to do is deconstruct this. Uh, I, that, that's that's going to just melt. Oh, it's not going to melt. It's going to overheat, though. And then it's going to start taking damage. And then we're going to have all sorts of problems. But I feel like we can do some things to uh, to make this work a little bit better. I'm going to first start off by putting down a bunch of uh, obsidian tiles over here. So that we can start thinking about how... Ooh, downtime no not the downtime that means this is going to spew out uh, how about if we go like that does that work i've got a feeling that it's not oh yeah okay here comes shroud because he's going to come and destroy this for us i've got a feeling though that maybe the lack of oxygen is going to get to him before he even gets down here maybe the other thing that we need to do is to think about some sort of exosuits on this sort of side so yeah, as you can see we've got a whole bunch of stuff that we want to try and do here it's just going to take a little time to get around to them. Oh, also, this over here, uh, this 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 needs to change. Uh, this meant to be part of the whole uh, intro spiel that I just did there. Uh, I want to uh, break some stuff apart here. I think what we actually need to do is to set up some uh, aluminium to be turned into aluminium ore uh, because I want to put this gas element sensor on the other side. If I uh, have a hit of this button here, you can see that not only is it almost always in the, um, the hydrogen at the top here, but the uh, oxygen is actually getting sucked in via uh, the gas pump if we have a look you can see that it is starting to back up here now this is actually a bit of a problem um, not only just from this this is one of the reasons why I want to make it just hydrogen so we're not having such a severe backup here but if we come and have a look down here this does mean of course that the oxygen coming through to the base is at quite a limited rate now this uh, actually almost has to be a thing because of the way that we've set it up so I feel one of the other things we're gonna have to get to at some point but maybe not today is really uh, rearranging maybe the the oxygen to be up here uh, and then we can just pump the oxygen straight into the base and put the chlorine down into what I would like to keep as my uh, gas gas sorting system now these guys are super full but what about this one down here let's set up the uh, the gas pipe to connect these together you see I've got another one um, marked up to be built over here and I would actually like to put another one if we press the B button down there to do that okay beautiful how about if we just carry on doing all these things and then yeah okay okay let's think about this I want to take these up and across like that I don't know if this is actually the way that I want to end up pumping up but that that that'll do so the yellow alert's been running all night long and nobody's actually come on down to uh, fix it yet. Uh, hopefully with the advent of the daytime, people should come along. I'm not sure if anybody like got like shaking out of their sleep or anything like that overnight. Uh, that would be disappointing if that was the case, but you know, we'll just have to see exactly what's going on here. Luna, where are you going? I, I thought you'd be coming down to here. Oh no, it's forest. Okay, fair enough. I mean, anyway, I have waffled on an awful lot. I'm going to 
stop talking now and let these guys get on with a few of their jobs. You know what, maybe, maybe, maybe I haven't waffled on enough yet. Uh, so uh, well, another way that we could fix this, not just by trying to set up some sort of cooling loop, though that is my preferred method, is of course that we could try and figure out some way of making, um, uh, not iron, but making a full-on steel. But of course this is going to involve many more processes because this granulizer cannot make steel, it could just make the stuff leading up to steel. We need to have an actual mineral processing area down here to finish off the process and turn it into steel. Okay, the salt geyser has started spewing out. I've had to lock the door because people were using it and coming down here. Not the best plan, to be fair, but, you know, that they do what they need to do. Uh, I'm trying to, like, empty all of this out as quick as possible. In fact, if I uh, set up priorities over this side, this should hopefully sort everything out over there. The food issue is an issue. This, this is the problem right here. We don't seem to be able to fix it instantly. I'm wondering whether, I actually, what I want to do is try and figure out how to put a hole in the top here and then pressure up down below to shove it all out uh, but yeah that the whole pressure down below issue definitely seems to be something that we are lacking right now so in the spirit of uh, I think these guys are actually gonna die I've gone ahead and made a whole system over here to just pump out some nice fresh clean oxygen you see we've got a filter up here ready to take out all of the oxygen and everything else just gets passed into the bad system over here and it should just be chlorine in there so I've gone ahead and passed it just straight to the chlorine store I can see that this has already been built that's pretty nice all the gases filtered through you can see that we've only got uh, a third of the reservoir open though this guy is still complaining about the lack of oxygen this really limits what people People are able to do on this side but I've asked this to be the highest priority job so maybe that's what's where's he going what's he doing I don't know Let, let's have a look what is he actually working he is power supply um, he's taking stuff to the coal generator I mean uh, that mm, yes but also no and the other exosuit user is coming to close the door it's, it's an interesting day I'm finding myself with here Okay, they appear to actually be working on the important stuff. That's good. Dr. Captain Subs, I love you, man. You do the medical research in the in the colony that nobody else is, has, has got the kutch bar to do, that everybody else is too afraid to move on with. But you're so slow when it comes to building. Uh, hopefully, this is going to take you not out of the out of the room, but someone else will come along uh, and do some building now. Hopefully, maybe I don't know. We'll find out. We'll see. Uh, who who is on the errands here? Uh, doesn't look like anybody is, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully, this will all get turned over a lot quicker because you can. Uh, we've already gone through half of the cycle. Half the cycle later, the uh, salt water tank down here is starting to take on a little bit of a nicer shape, uh, putting down these bottom uh bottom tiles down here because they are the ones that really need the uh need to be in place before we drop, drop liquids everywhere that was kind of the thing that i'm worried about i'm also wondering whether i want to go on a proper explore of this coal biome over here because it looks like we may have actually found everything that there is to see already you can see that kind of like clump comes in on this sort of corner over here so i feel like this is just a resource node to take advantage of we've got like uh, a handful maybe half a dozen weeds warts that can go on under here but I don't think that's actually gonna make a whole a lot of difference to this I think we're gonna have to make a much more uh, intensive system of cooling down here Oh, and that, they're almost close enough to just connect as well. This, of course, being the uh, anti-entropy thermo nullifier down here. So I find this interesting. Oh, it's literally just changed as I was about to say it. So this one up here, I've told to only give out a signal if it's uh, got oxygen on it. Then we go through a knock gate. So this one pumps whenever there is not oxygen around. But you can see there's a whole bunch of oxygen around here. But the fact that this keeps like being uh, covered by lots of other gases end up giving a signal to carry on pumping. And so we're getting uh, little bits of oxygen coming out of here. But as you can see, it is turning on and off slowly as the concentration changes more to an oxygenated one. So hopefully... We get into a situation where we can just start pumping the oxygen through. Uh, the, this is needed because, as you can see, we've got zero oxygen over here and people just don't seem to want to get on with the building of the emergency systems over here. Okay, we're going to do, we're gonna do uh, uh, desperate and... Um, we'll just, just desperate plea. Oh, wait, no. 
Okay, I'm going to make a desperate play. I'm going to disable the checkpoint here and hopefully people can come along and get the work done. As you can see, starvation is an issue over here. So that that's something we definitely want to get sorted out. I'm also setting up a little knock gate system on this pump over here because, you know, there is a bunch of gases over here, but mostly I want to make sure that there is oxygen. So I'm going to say, hey, is there oxygen here? If not, carry on pumping. Okay, seems to be working out. Mad Frank is already in doing the work. Is anybody actually going to make the deliveries, though? Mr. Line has got the, uh, the the suit on. Oh, look, here comes everybody. Ooh, this is good. This is the type of thing that we are looking to see. Uh, there was a little bit of a weird going on earlier. I saw Mr. Line like, put the suit on, then came out here, and then came up to breathe at the top there. That was a bit weird. She took her helmet off. I mean, she didn't take the helmet off. It just disappeared. Uh, but, yeah, that, that that's strange. But, you know, that's a thing that happens. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a complicated game I can see how uh, things might get triggered when other things are supposed to be doing in other ways I mean I don't know particularly with the point the fact that I turned the atmospheric suit uh checkpoint off immediately uh, yeah it, it's weird it's weird all right hopefully these guys are gonna get this all working now and I will see you when it's all up and running Okay, we got the top crew on the job right now. Misaligned. Mad Frank was on the way in, but it looks like uh, Shroudskus has come along to usurp that job. I'm fine with that as long as the purple power wire gets into place before this gas pump does. A beautiful. I want to hit F4 and look at the, the weird gas concentration we've got in here now. I'm not sure how we've built this up, but I know that's because this, for some reason, is not outputting enough gas. So we're down to milligrams, micrograms, whatever the M grams are in here. Uh, so I'm hoping that we're just about to watch it all disappear. Now there is a bit of a backlog in the uh, in the oxygen system here, but it should work out okay in the end. I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. I'm just going to sit here and watch this happen. I, pro I probably shouldn't because you know there's probably a whole bunch of other stuff going on somewhere. But uh, look, there are little little bits of vacuum appearing and disappearing. What I'm mostly interested in is why. Is this not working? We got rust, we got iron, we don't have salt. We're short of salt. Why is that? No pending deliveries. Hmm. Maybe it's more important than I thought it was to get this up and running as quick as possible. Okay, so we're going to put that down there. There's always some sort of horrendous knock-on effects when you go around and just start changing things. Hopefully this is now enough. I don't actually care about the ladders. It's all about these builds. So hopefully that's going to be good enough. This is far enough away. The overheat temperature on aluminium, let's have a look over here, is 75. And by the time we get over here, it's like a 64 degree. So, like, fingers crossed, that's enough temperature being loose to the environment. Uh, somehow, Misaline gone ahead and brought this uh, atmospheric suit over here. I'm not sure if I'm that bothered by it. I feel like I am, but we'll we'll just let it play through for now and see what happens. They're mostly interested in what's going to happen uh, with the power lines because those are the bits that's going to take uh, the most work, if you will. People need to bring aluminium ore from all over the place, and of course, that is all dependent on whether they can hold their breath for long enough. I'm really not sure what's going to happen to Mr. Lion when that blue bar runs out. Okay, we must be getting very close to that blue bar running out. Well, just before Mimi ran across, yeah, look, we have got, like, literal single pixels or something like that, depending on how far I zoom in, of course. So, yeah, it's going to be very interesting, very interesting. I was kind of feeling like that was going to be the end of it when I started speaking, but no. Okay, so we spoke for long enough for the water to start flowing. It's going to be interesting to see what happens when this water over here is literally the only water, right? When this starts pulling out all of the salination and... Uh, and goes like that okay what's going on is she taking damage let's uh, move over this way and then we'll unequip the suit and see what happens yeah suffocating is mimi what no where are you going where there okay cool all right that's that's fine that's fine uh, I'm more worried about what's going to happen to misaligned, of course. Maybe over here, we'll just go, all right, here, uh, unequip the suit. Okay, good luck. You're, you're fresh in the world again. Now, hopefully, what we should be seeing is if I press F6, we got uh, salt water flowing up and into the pipes here. Then the fresh water comes up and over, and this should now start running through our water system and hopefully start sorting out the system so that we can ha start producing some uh, oxygen using the power of the water because that would be uh, a lot more stable than this uh trying to produce power off the uh the, the side products of gas power production 
Okay, Mimi says she's suffocating. No big problem. That's going to get sorted. I'm hoping that I can get misaligned over here to dig this hole. Let's just make it super high priority and hopefully she'll be all about that. Because we seem to be super out of salt. Is that? Yeah, yeah, super out of salt. Uh, so we need to try and dig some more up. But obviously not just digging some up would work, but uh, making some from the desalinator down below would be pretty handy. Uh, I'm also going to start taking away this rock here. It's, it's just a little bit too much rock, you know? All right, so we dug up some salt, so hopefully first thing tomorrow morning, someone's going to make a salt delivery. So in good news, we are getting enough water together that people can start working on the microbe musher again. In bad news, I've got a real feeling Dr. Captain Subs might be one of the first people to starve. No, he seems to be doing okay now. Ooh, that, that would have been very bad. Like, very, very bad. <laughs> oh, he's eaten and he still says he's hungry. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, like I say, more, more food is underway, right? Cubic making that all-important salt delivery. Hopefully that's enough to get going. 80 kilos of salt. That's pretty good. I wonder how much it needs uh, when it is full. Let's have a look down here. We've got 300 kilograms of rust. Oh, man, that's uh, nearly a, a kilo, two kilos of iron ore. Okay, that's cool. Uh, yeah, I'd like to know so I know how much salt I want to be producing per day. Maybe we can do it all through desalination. Maybe not. I'm not sure how you actually get more salt water. Water? Is that a thing? Do you get more salt water? Questions. Oh, we just finished the entire medicine line of research. That is pretty cool. Okay, with that in mind, what should we work on uh, next? I'm not sure. I feel like actually we want all this automation stuff. Uh, getting all the way to the end of computing will be good for other reasons as well, but that's definitely one of the things we want to work on here. Our transit tubes would also be pretty good at some point. Uh, I'm not sure about any others just yet. What's the... Uh, ah, the smelting, of course, to work on uh, metal stuff. That could be what we're going for next, actually. This superheated forging is probably what we're actually after by the end of it all. Okay, the oxygen seems to be finding its fast track around. That's pretty good. That should hopefully mean that these are going to become functional again, but I'm going to leave it for the day. You can still pump pumping oxygen up there. I'm sure we had another vent somewhere. It looks like it's down here. Okay, that's cool. If we press the F4, we've got a little bit coming through there, a little bit coming through there. It'd be nice to have something up here pushing all the gas up, but, you know, that's, that's the way it's going to work. Why is this not producing? Producing, um, because we're not in hydrogen. This, this should also probably be not oxygen, right? Let's let's go ahead and do that. Let's press uh, the let's let's click this. Sorry. Wait, there's, there's got to be a way of doing this, right? So we go to the automation overlay. We clear these like this. I'm going to get my automation. I'm going to go a wire. No, not wire bridge. In fact, you know what? This one here, uh, this automation wire can uh, cancel on its deconstruct. We can then go automation, not gate. Uh, I think we want to have it that way up. And then we connect this to that like so. And that should be it. Okay. And then when we turn this to oxygen, it's going to go, hey, I'm not in oxygen. Please work for me. All right, he's managed to wander his own way into that. He's actually a Drecklet, a little baby. So, ah, oh, he might have been born in there. Uh, so, Decipher's going to start trying to make him uh, a friend, a pet. So, if we uh, slightly up the pincher pepper priority, hopefully someone will come along and plant those for us. How about our little not switch up here? Mad Frank working on it. Okay, there we go. See, so, there we go. What are we doing? We're in oxygen. Why are you not pumping here? Uh, oh, because you are actually in oxygen. I wonder where all that oxygen went to. But now that we are not, it should pump through and hopefully clear out all of these gases until it becomes saturated in oxygen again, uh, where it turns off. We'll, we'll get this sorted. It will eventually work for us. I'm almost certain of it. So having a quick look here, I've got five tons of algae. You know what that makes me want to do? That makes me want to get one of these oxygen diffusers here, pop it down there and just connect it into this little power system here. Ah, oh, that, that should work out what... Oh, are we completely out of power here? Well, stuff to look out for. Okay, Mimi seems to be coming along to deliver a whole bunch of stuff to the coal power plant. That is exactly what we want. Let's have a look at what she's doing over here. Why are you all the way over there? That's an interesting path to take. I'm a little bit worried that you're going to end up dropping your coal down here. Maybe we need to upgrade these doors to make them a little bit faster. But with everything working on well... Oh, someone picked up the pinch of pepper seeds. That is beautiful. That's exactly what we want. Uh, oh, pro problems have happened. But, you know, we'll, we'll just let them try and work their way uh, through all these issues... And now also that the oxygen is working, let's uh, enable that building again. This does mean that we're only going to get down to two people coming, being able to come out and work this way. 
But there's two people that are going to have full atmospheric suits, so that, that should be good, right? Okay, the pitch pepper seems to be growing fine. That should mean that this Drecklet will also have a good time and everything should work out still. The starvation is real, though. Really need to try and get this uh, oxygen supply up here working well for us because the whole place is just... Well, it's getting a little bit more blue. A little bit. Of course, on the massively plus side, this water system seems to be working out pretty well for us, at least when this actually has enough power to get running. What I'm uh, mostly interested in is where does the salt go, though? I don't seem to be able to find the salt anywhere. Oh, look, it's it's helping in places we're, we're sort of doing right here. Let's have a look. I think that's probably a bit of a pressure issue up here, but there is definitely oxygen being dragged around everywhere. I like it. I love it. It's amazing. It should sort out our food problems over over here. Just going to come over here and have a quick look at the F7. Okay, yeah, look at this. Beautiful, solid oxygen flow moving out towards the base here. I'm losing half of it towards the airlock, but that's fine because the rest is going up there, and it's not like a third of it doesn't come out into the actual area here, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I've found out that the uh, the body temperature is a little bit low here, but also if we go for the Dracula and have a look, its comfortable range is above 35 degrees, which just happens to be the temperature range that they want here. So I've put down a space heater. We've got some uh, power connector and an automation wire go into a thermo sensor that I will set up to, I don't know, let's say 40 degrees. He 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 just ate our millwood. Uh, wrangle him up. We're gonna put him put him away. Let's put him up to high priority. Tomorrow morning we will get him over into the little ranch over here. We are not having you eat our very limited food supply. You know you as well. We're gonna wrangle you up. We're gonna get you into the right areas as well. Cues for the toilet. Maybe we need more. Ah, oh, look at this. Yes, even even more. Even more of them are starting to get to the point where they're growing. This is beautiful. How is the oxygen supply looking? Yeah, nice. Okay, I like this if you don't have oxygen pump thing. It seems to be working quite well. Not so much for out here, but it is a good system. And with the end of the ridiculous abuse of the alert system, it seems like we're going to be doing all right here. Uh, we want to go below, uh, I was saying, about 40, right? So let's just hit that if my number pad would work. Okay, it turns up number lock has been turned off at some point. But here we go. If below 40, turn space heater on. Space heater is on. And hopefully now we will be climbing the temperature up just a little bit 47 uh, 34 sorry 0 0.7 0 0.9 point but there we go that that should now hopefully very quickly start to impact on this system over here 33.9 actually went in the wrong direction <laughs> Okay, my slicks are starving. This is very bad. What I want to do to make sure they don't starve is ov overload the, uh, the the coal generators. Let's see if this is a thing that we can do. Hopefully, these guys are going to be okay. Uh, another thing I want to do is, of course, destroy all this stuff in the side here. I mean, of course, why would that not be a thing? Let's press F2 and just get rid of all of this as well. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Hopefully, people come down to do this as well. But the most important thing is that these guys get their, their, their massive amounts of coal yeah people are on it we're just gonna have to wait for them to get down here and do it let's let's speed up time a little bit and see how it goes here comes mad frank to do the majority of the business okay that's that's cool we've got some actual starvation on the go it turns out there is in fact mad frank but that doesn't really matter all that much thankfully we've got a whole bunch of larvae eggs around uh, i'm now going to come up to here uh with this and and I'd tell it no um and then hopefully if we do lose some slicks it's not the end of the world also they're, they're kind of like crushed in here and glum i think that's because there's too many uh too many uh critters around but also the starvation is probably not helping right it's probably not helping okay and the whole miasma of uh carbon dioxide should start working its way down there i really want this to get uh, disabled as quick as possible let's get mad frank hopefully on it as soon as he is able to yeah mad frank he is here okay cool let's turn this rather confusing overlay of colors off uh, and uh, watch the master at work as he comes on running down here let's a flood of material in or out i'm not sure which way it's going but that should hopefully just turn that pump off that that's the important bit there is no more not sure guys they don't seem to be eating that much so it's gone up a little bit what about this guy 5.9 hopefully hopefully there will be many carbon dioxides now nah, look the oxygen diffuser got up and running as well at some point oh it's beautiful 
I'm a little surprised that this keeps saying that it's having troubles with oxygen, especially as it is receiving a legitimately half my oxygen supply. If you look, it keeps going past in packets of two, and every time it'll turn down, and then the next one will go forwards, and then it'll turn down, and the next one will go forwards, and our slicksters are starting to starve again. That's no problem because these are ticking over, but I, I'm really worried that we're like zero calories. Zero. It's tough. Oh, and the liquid pump is starting to overheat that that is not great this is what i've got this going on down here for i want to go ahead and try and gather all of the wheeze warts that are down this way it shouldn't be too difficult because we've got quite a supply of uh building materials and, and actual wheeze warts down here so that should work out pretty well for us but just kind of pre-plan how we're going to get people through here we should be able to go and pick up everything we need the plan today of course was to go and explore out and around and take advantage of a few of the things that are laying around for us but unfortunately we didn't quite get round to that so despite the fact that our main objective today was get out to go explore, I feel like we have had a rousing success going around and clearing out all the gases in the base. The not oxygen detectors definitely seem to be a winner. Even outside the base, if we go, go ahead and press the F4, you can see we're getting little pockets of oxygen starting to open up around where we have these pumps. So that is looking really good. Down here, we need to try and do something about how uh, cold it is over here, how hot it is over here. Sorry, we appear to have had a little bit of a spill i don't think that's a problem though i was uh, surprised i wasn't expecting to spot such a thing i can only assume that some holes got put into the bottom here uh we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna dig through here and try and get the uh get the wheeze warts to put ace under there but i'm afraid that is all gonna have to wait for next time because i have run out for for time today i'm gonna say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen i will see you next time where hopefully we will actually get on to making a more sustainable sustainable cooling system try and sort out the uh, oxygen system at the moment because whilst we have been trying to go quite well with the uh, the algae diffuser over here you can see that we are fast running out we have used over two third uh, two fifths sorry of our supply already so we need to try and figure out exactly how we can make a much better system on that but i will see you then when we're gonna do that bye